Hi, my name is Daniel Goldstein. I'll be sharing with you a brief commentary on this week's Torah portion called Peko Day. Let's begin this week's study by looking at a certain scenario that occurred in the life of Yeshua in the New Testament. It's recorded in the book of Matthew, chapter 22. In this certain scenario, some Pharisees, together with some Herodians, came to trap Yeshua in his words. Now, the Herodians were people who were loyal to King Herod, who was king of Judea, who was part of the Roman Empire. So the Pharisees and Herodians came together with this question. Matthew chapter 22, I'm reading from verse 17. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to give a poll tax to Caesar or not? But Yeshua perceived their malice and said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the poll tax. And they brought him a denarius. He said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Yeshua gave an amazing response to the Pharisees and Herodians and basically answered their question clearly without being trapped and told them, yes, it's okay to give back to Caesar, whose image and inscription was on the coin, to pay the poll tax. But then he went further and said, and give to God the things that are God's. Now what did Yeshua mean by this second part of his answer? What does it mean to give to God that which belongs to God? Well, I think we'll see a possible answer to this question in this week's Torah portion. Let's look at Exodus chapter 39. The Torah portion is found in Exodus 38, 39, and 40. And in this week's Torah portion, we read about the completion of the tabernacle. The Israelites had completed all the material for the tabernacle. Now this included the garments for the priests, for Aaron and his sons. The garments of the high priest were particularly special. That was for Aaron himself. And we read about the garments of the high priest in Exodus 39. Now we read particularly about the turban and a certain gold plate that was placed upon the turban of the high priest. Exodus 39 verses 30 and 31. It says this, They made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and inscribed it like the engravings of a signet, holy to the Lord. They fastened a blue cord to it, to fasten it on the turban above, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. So we see here, we read here about the, the golden plate that had the words, Kodesh le Adonai, holy to the Lord, inscribed on them. And this gold plate was placed upon the, the turban of the high priest and fastened to the turban with a blue cord. Now I just want to point out uh, two main things, two Hebrew connections. Um, from this verse, and that is this. The word plate, the, the word for plate is tzitz. Now, tzitz used in the Bible is used of something that blossoms, that is shining, that is um, uh, budding. It's often used of, the, of a flower. And so we can see how the, the, the plate, the tzitz, was something that was shining forth, was blossoming, was flowering, um, with the name of the Lord written on it. Now, we also read that the golden plate was fastened to the turban of the high priest with a blue cord. The blue cord in Hebrew is petil tehelet. Now petil tehelet is only used five times in all of the Bible. This, this phrase together. And it's used twice in relation to the, the golden plate. It's used twice regarding the high priest's uh, breastplate and how it's fastened uh, to him. And it's used one other time. And the one other time is an interesting uh, connection because it's not connected at all to the garments of the high priest. So you have four times you have the blue cord that's used in connection to the garments of the high priest, and then one time when it's not. But I think we'll see a, a different connection here. So we're looking at Numbers chapter 15, verses um, 37 and 38. Numbers 15, 37 and 38 say this, the Lord also spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel, and tell them that they shall make for themselves tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations, and that they shall put on the tassels of each corner a cord of blue. So this cord of blue in Hebrew is petil tehelet. It's the same blue cord which is spoken of in Exodus 39 regarding fastening the, the plate of gold that seats to the turban of the high priest. So here, 
the Lord commands that every Israeli, every male Israeli, as we understand it, was to make a, uh, a four-cornered garment, a garment with four corners, and in each corner there was to be a tassel, and in that tassel was to be a cord of blue. Now, actually, the word for the tassel used here in Numbers chapter 15, verse 38, is the word tzitzit. So we have the tzitzit with the blue cord in it, and we have the tzitz back in Exodus 39 with the blue cord that's attached to the turban. So I think we see a very interesting connection here between the high priestly garments and that which is written on it as holy to the Lord, and that which God commanded every Israeli, every male Israeli to wear with these tassels, tzitzit, with the blue cord in them. And I believe that we see a connection here between the, the average Israeli, the everyday Israeli, and the, the high priest, and the calling which God had on every person to be holy unto him. Just as the high priest was called to be holy and to represent the people before him, every Israeli was called to be holy and to remember that they were part of the kingdom of God, in a sense. Now, I think this is interesting because every Jew, every male Jew would wear this garment. Orthodox Jews still wear this four-cornered four garment today with the tassels. Now, some have a blue in it and some don't today because they're not sure the exact color. However, in Jesus' day, I'm sure they still wore it. And so when he was speaking, when Yeshua was speaking to the Pharisees and Herodians, and he said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, speaking of the gold coin, and to God the things that are God's. I believe he was reminding these Pharisees who stood there in their four-cornered garment with tassels and a blue string, a blue cord in them, reminding them of the holiness of God, reminding them to whom they belong, and reminding them to live a life as unto the Lord. He was reminding them of who they were. And that, I, I believe, is what Yeshua meant when he said, and to God, render to God the things that are God's. Now to read my full commentary on this week's Torah portion, I invite you to go to jewelsofjudaism.com under the title, Rendered to Caesar and to God. Thank you and Shabbat Shalom.